Hey guys, just here with a quick video showing you how I made a spacer for my Convoy S2 Plus triple. Now these triple LED boards have become really popular lately because LEDs are a lot more efficient at lower currents. And I'll illustrate that using this graph here made by a member of Budget Light Forum. So if we go down here to the graph, we have a number of different LEDs represented by different color lines. On the x-axis we have current, and on the y-axis we have lumens. You can see that as you increase current, you're getting diminishing returns as far as lumens go. So we'll be focusing on this red line here, as that's the LED that I used for this project. Let's assume we had a 3 amp driver. A 3 amp driver running a single LED would give us an output of 900 lumens. With that same 3 amp driver running the triple LED board, each LED would be getting 1 amp for an output of 400 lumens. So three LEDs at 400 lumens would give us a total output of 1200 lumens, as opposed to the 900 we would get with a single LED. If you wanted to get 1200 lumens out of just a single LED, you'd have to run it all the way up here at five amps. The reason you need a spacer is because the TIR optic that's used with the triple LED board is shorter than the stock Convoy S2 Plus reflector. As you can see on the body here, it's not threaded all the way through, so if you installed the LED board without a spacer, there would be a gap between the end of the optic and the end of the host. There are pre-made spacers you can buy on the internet, although they are pretty expensive. So what I did was I went to my local home improvement store to the plumbing department and picked up this. It's a three-quarter inch PEX plug made by Sharkbite. It was $1.50 if I recall correctly. Here's what it looked like. What I did was cut it with a Dremel and then sanded it flat. I also drilled a hole through the center for the wires to go through. The diameter of this spacer is 20 millimeters, which is a perfect fit for the triple LED board. So I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like assembled. I did have to drill a hole through the center of the pill as well, as the wires would have been too short otherwise. The next thing I did was solder the driver on. After that was done, I put some Arctic Silver thermal paste between the LED board and the spacer, as well as between the spacer and the pill, and that seemed to work well. Anyway, that's about it for this video. If you guys found it helpful, please leave a like below and consider subscribing. Thank you all for watching, and have a nice day.